Dear Theodosia, here's your warm up. Hey, here's your warm up. It says she's a partner, but you can't because you're on Schoology. So you're going to do this by yourself. Um, you're going to take five minutes and write a letter. Just start free writing. You can make up who it's to, who it's from, characters. It can be based in reality. It's up to you. Okay. So write that. Be done with it. We're going to use it in a minute. Today, we're back to Presentational 3D, talking about scores and beats. Scores and beats and 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 scores and beats. So what's the objective? Well, it's for one, to me, to get to do things like that. But the bigger objective is to introduce the idea of objective, goal, obstacle, and action tactic to simple scenes by scoring them. So we're building on what we did a few days ago. Uh, and we're talking about how to score the scenes and then how do we play it? How do we act based on the scoring? So what is it? What do we mean? Score a scene. Scoring a scene like in volleyball and you get a point. Do you get points for scoring things in theater? Well, um, no, it's not that. Uh, what it is, is it's identifying and then making uh, and then marking the moments in which characters tactics change and then writing the new tactic in the margin of the script. So normally anytime that tactics change, you add a slash and the tactics change. So what did we do last class? Well, we talked about this, for what are the first steps you take on? And after doing that lesson, uh, the idea now is do you have new ideas about what your first steps could be and what choices you're allowed to make um, as an actor? All right, uh, you're gonna film yourself reading your letter and upload it. So read that bad boy. So uh, answer these questions in your notes. As you know, what was it like not knowing what was going to come next? In what way is this like acting in a scene? Did you have to share equally, pay attention to what your partner was creating, or go at it alone? You went at it alone. <sighs> now you're going to do the same thing, but with scene writing. You're going to write an A-B conversation. You're going to have character A, character B. You're going to take five minutes. It needs to have at least eight lines of, of dialogue. They're talking to each other back and forth, okay? Two characters. Um, so write your scene. So now you're going to um, write this down. So you wrote your scene, underneath your scene, write this A-B conversation. And the idea is first we would do, if we had this scene, we would read it. You can press pause to write it if you haven't. So we read the scene and then we score the scene. So we answer these questions. So around where you wrote it, you're gonna answer these questions. Where does this scene take place? If you don't know the script, you can make it up. Who are A and B? So decide who they are, what type of people, you can give them names if you want. What is their relationship to each other? And then what is their overall objective in the scene? What are both of them trying to do? A wants this. B wants this. And you can even say A wants this, but, and then you list the obstacle. What's in the way of, of them getting to their objective? B wants this, but what's, the, what's in the way? And obstacles can be internal. A wants to talk to B but A is shy, right? So now I have an internal, it can be external. A wants to talk to B, but there's a boulder in the way. Um, so figure out what is their objective and obstacle. I'm gonna add that in. Um, and more importantly, where do the characters adopt new tactics? So what are the tactics? So A wants B, but the obstacle's in the way. So A does this. What does he do to still get what he wants? And you write that throughout, and tactics are going to change. So, right? And you go through your script, and you start placing a slash where tactics change, where they're trying something new. And so then you're going to go in, and you're going to write where you wrote those slashes. You're going to write what the tactic is, okay? So the idea is if A challenges B, A lies to B, a attacks B, you're going to play what are the tactics that you're going to do. And then we act it out. Give me one second. No problem. So then what you want to do is you want to act it out. I'm recording my lesson for the online kids. Uh, so you are going to need a partner on this. Now, you guys know each other, I think. So I'm okay, too, if you guys do like a FaceTime and record it or something like that and submit it where both of you are acting out a scene. Um, if not, then you're going to have to play both parts. I don't really know. Get someone in your house to help. 
Uh, and then you're going to answer this question in your notes about your tactics. Uh, did they create unexpected meaning in the scene? Which tactics worked with the text? Did any of them not work? Like you were like, hey, A is doing this to B. A is choking B. Well, now B can't say their line. So that tactic does not work. Uh, I must change it and do a new tactic. So now let's change tactics. So go back through and whatever you wrote before, change it. And then play the scene again with new tactics. See, this is what having fun and playing with the text is. As an actor, you are allowed to do this. You're allowed to change tactics and play the scene. So change your tactics and then record again another scene. This is three recordings. You can do them all as one, maybe. We'll see. And then answer these questions on your notes. When one tactic changes, do other tactics play in the same way? Are the choices of tactics individual or should they be decided on by both the actors? What role might a director play in connecting with how actors decide where the shift happens? and what tactics to use. And those are your thoughts and opinions, so think about them. And then with the idea of tactic changes, we have what's called beep, 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 beat. Each section of the scene in between the shifts is called a beat. So each new tactic begins a new beat. Scenes are constructed by playwrights as a series of beats. Learning to score helps us understand the playwright's intent, how the story is constructed. There's a story that my notes told me that someone came over, maybe from Russia, I don't know, and he said, we're going to do little bits of scenes, but he had an accent, so he said beats of scenes, and that's where it came from. I don't know if that's true or not. I always thought that it's because drums. I got nothing. All right, uh, so what I'd like you to do now is I want you to take your scene that you wrote, not my scene, but your scene, and I want you to score it and then act it out, okay? And you're gonna submit pictures of your scored scene and a recording of you acting it out or acting out with someone. And I believe that's all for today. Oh, there's a follow-up discussion. If you get to it, last question on your notes is gonna be that, okay? And I'll post them in the, in the, in the thing. Um, so this is a lot of work, I know, but this is also theater three, four, okay? So you guys got to do the work. You got to stay on top of it. Um, and we will keep going. So if you have any questions, shoot me a text. If not, uh, I will plan on seeing you soon. Bye.